Pizza Guy Adventurers, episode 55, Tuesday, October 17th, 2017. I want to welcome all my newest subscribers. Thank you guys for getting on board with the Adventure as Train, because the Adventure as Train has more than one car now. Not meaning the car I deliver in, but this train has multiple avenues. There is now Lyft Adventures. I'll post a link to it if you need to check out. Um, if you're wondering where episode 53 is, and if you're wondering where episode 36 is, it looks like I'm getting a better response from keeping it a little more on the lighthearted side. With that being said, those episodes may not ever get posted, depending on how things go. Uh, episode 36, I call it the... It's called f f f funny Like, it has, it's the F-bomb episode. I've mentioned it in some of these other episodes, but to those just tuning in, I drop a lot of F-bombs in it, and... I do that in a lot of these anyway, but that one, it's really, like, out of line. Like, I am I get really angry at the fact that I I was having a day where I just didn't get that good of tips, and it was, it was frustrating, and I kind of... I didn't really narrow it down to any one person. I just was going off in general, and episode 53 has the same kind of context to it. It's just more like of a Debbie Downer, I call it. Who came up with that term? If your name is Debbie and you're like not a downer, you must really hate that term Debbie Downer. But I couldn't think of another way to say it. But thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I am i know I say I'm going to try to keep it more lighthearted. Furthermore, I'm going to further my efforts by not even posting stuff that's as depressing or sad. Because I'm trying to treat it as if it's something I don't want to watch. Why would I post something I wouldn't watch myself? So... That's going to be my guideline now. If I would watch it, then I'll post it. If I wouldn't watch it, then I'm not going to post it. I'm trying to watch these more as I po before I post them to see what they look like. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my delivery here. So if you're looking for certain episodes, they exist. If you're watching these in the comments, you can let me know if you think I should post them anyway. But... I'm not trying to scare off any of my newest subscribers. I want them to know that this is a fun channel full of, like, reviews and adventures and just more randomness and good stuff to help help just give you something to binge watch and take your mind off your, your daily whatever it is. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Dodgers tonight at 6 p.m. Woohoo! So keeping it moving. Here we go. I'm in my Fiesta. On Fiesta Way. Oh, you can't even see the street sign from here. But I'm on Fiesta Way. So that's that's pretty weird. That's very, very, very surreal. Now that I've done lift adventures and I had some people to fire off with and talk to in the car, it's already a lot harder to do these pizza guy adventure as is because I don't have anybody to talk to. There's for me to go live and do this, I'm not on the road long enough for people to sit there and tune in. Like, my deliveries maybe take at most 20 minutes, if that. And there's a little bit of time that I have to get out and go take the pizza anyway, so. I sure like Lyft Adventures. It's really fun. But Pizza Guy Adventures gets me the paycheck. But Lyft, so if you're driving for Lyft or Uber, like, one thing that you, you do is, a uh, it's hard for me not to sit there and calculate, take what I make, do the math for it, and then I see if it makes per hour more than what I would make at Domino's. So far it has, but it's also, you do gotta go places, and actually, I don't know, like, if I could just sacrifice more time at night to go do it, because it cuts right into my time with Shalane. She's off at 10 p.m. at the latest every night. And that's when I should be able to just hang with her. But instead, to go make money for Lyft and Uber, those are like the hottest times to go make money is after 10, 10 p.m. to like 2.30, 3 a.m. And that's like the time, that's my time with her. And so I'm going to really have to sacrifice and, yeah, sacrifice. But I won't go into that because I am, I'm trying to, 
make this watchable for you guys. Um, if you guys have an idea of how you think I could maybe make this a little bit more interactive as I'm doing it, that'd be great. I'd love to have some people to talk to while I do this. The Domino's doesn't let me bring somebody along for the ride. I really wish I could. Like, what's it to them? We pay our own car insurance. So I don't see why they said it's a liability to bring someone along with us when it doesn't really matter. I'd love to bring Shalane out or, like, George or Jacob or some, somebody so I could do this as an actual podcast and talk instead of just talking at myself. I mean, I'm pretty good at it, but I could be a lot better because... It is also like it's something boundary limits. Uh, so for years and years, Orchids Dominoes was located uh, at the bottom of what they call the Bradley Dip, which was uh, if you go to Orchid and you go down the hill, well, y'all know where it was. It's it's across the street from Orchid Burger, but it's not there anymore. That's where their Domino's was. Now they've moved to where in the same shopping center as Spencer's Fresh Market. I bring that up because I just had a delivery on off of Inger, which would now be their turf, not ours. But we have a new guy working, and he uh, sent me over here. Thank goodness, because I was sent this way, and... It was just kind of cool to get a, a little bit of different of a drive and stuff. Because sometimes you just get tired of going to the same place. I've had a couple deliveries today that have just... Well, yeah. They've been just like run of the mill like this. Like I keep doing that motion because that's my way of describing it. I'm like, okay, like I've heard this song before and it's not that great of a song. Like That's how today's been so far. I don't know if the weather has something to do with it or what. But I usually like when it's more like this, but... I've also been really tired because my, y'all, I've shared this with you guys a lot already, how my sleep is really cockeyed. Like, I sleep, I have to be a day person when I have Vladimir, and I am a night person when I have Shalane, and having this YouTube channel, a lot of my editing and such comes at night. Also, I'm trying to start doing recording music again, and uh, my laptop isn't, I guess it's not powerful enough to shoulder all I'm asking it to do, so... I'm looking into maybe buying a desktop. I don't want people buy a Mac. I'm not gonna spend all kinds of. I'm not gonna spend two thousand dollars on a Mac. Like I ain't doing that. Like I shouldn't have to. Like so, I'm working on it. I'm working on a lot of things at once. I have a theory on the working on multiple things in life that I'll have to go over. So I'll go over on the next trip right now. Uh, it's a pretty cool. Uh, it's a simile or a metaphor for life on how we can put things in different places. So I'll go over it in a few. But Dodger game. Nighttime and I already feel better. Something people should look into. I know I said I wouldn't make this like bummer and stuff and lighthearted. But I want to bring bring light, shed light to a thing that I've discovered over the last year or so. Um, when I had a psychologist, she kind of helped me get to the bottom of it a little bit. It's called diurnal depression. D-I-U-R-N-A-L. Diurnal depression, a.k.a. seasonal depression. Where certain times of the day, whether we like it or not, we just happen to be in better moods versus not in better moods. Um, sleep cycles and such have a lot to do with it. The fact that my sleep is so chopped up and I, I can't really ever get on a regular schedule, that that doesn't seem to help it. And living si- living situations, that would, that would cut into any type of depression, no matter what your living situation is. There's always going to be some living situation that makes it harder. But diurnal depression, some people say, I'm a morning person or I'm a night person, like, there's so much you've heard me talk and complain about I have an episode I did last week I think 52 or 51 or 52 or at some point I'm like man fuck fuck the daytime but I'm so much better at nighttime like it's it's ridiculous like it's it, it could be measured on a scale like it's like I feel like I'm a different person come nighttime like 
If I tell you an idea is really good in the nighttime and then the morning comes when we have to execute it, I might not want to do it at all. But it's all pretty wild. Holy shit, dude's car died. Ah, it'd be too hazardous for me to stop and help him right now. I usually try to help people whose cars have died. But if you do struggle with mornings every morning or look into it and you know, get, get help. Like if you have a psychologist or someone you can kind of hammer out the, the deets of it, it's worth looking into because there's a chance that it may be something that that goes into you. What? Did Chris... Chris Taylor just hit a home run. 2-1 to one Dodgers. Cubs scored first, but now Dodgers are winning 2-1. to one. Woohoo! Yeah. As part of sharing the ins and outs of uh, delivering pizza, one thing that you do have to deal with, I don't know if it's good or bad, or it's just it's something that you have to think about is seeing the numbers on the houses or on the ground. Uh, the, the city, I don't know how they decided. Some streets on the curbs, they've went around and they uh, they do it as like a not a charity or whatever, but I guess they do it as a customer as a community service. They go repaint the numbers on people's sidewalks over here. That's why I'm sitting here looking off. I'm just kind of seeing as I'm talking how many are repainted. Some are repainted and some they just leave sit and they don't repaint them. And a lot of people's addresses are either A, covered up by like shrubbery or B, their numbers are really tiny or dark or not reflective. There'll be so many things that factor into not being able to see the numbers. I don't know what I could do to put out there as a thing to the community. Hey, can can they help? Oh, there's one I could see on the ground right there. If there's something that they could do to make the numbers be more visible places, there's a couple of newer housing complexes where the numbers are all in the same place, right next to the garage door, and they're lit. If uh, I think they make those little solar lights that kind of cast a little illuminating light onto your house numbers. If you if you have one of those, those are killer and make it. I just saw another house like the numbers have like paisley design around the numbers. Those flowers, the little paisley flowers, throw off from being able to see what the numbers really are. I like the big old straight up numbers that are. Um, I, my mom and dad pointed out because my aunt Ginny used to live in a house for uh, mentally disabled people where. The numbers are a lot bigger so people can see them. Every house should have those. It shouldn't be that a house has to have disabled people in it to be able to have the numbers be easier to be seen. It's, everybody should have those because maybe they're trying to hide or something. I don't know, but I guess they should ask people if you're going to move in. Are you going to order? If Are you going to have food delivered a lot or like... Or, like, are you going to have a dispensary deliver weed to you or, like, somebody? Because if you are, make your house numbers easier to be seen. Otherwise, it's okay to be hidden. Like, when I worked in Solving, oh, man, the numbers were even harder to see. Because out in Solving, the numbers are, like, buried, buried, like, on, on old poles that have been shot at with, like, shotguns and all this stuff like wow like I can't see the numbers at, at all I can't see the numbers when I drive I deliver in your pizza oh I can't see the numbers on your hoose but I'd love to but I'd love to had a delivery too I guess I can uh, it's not really that big of a deal to say the people who I delivered to people who well if you don't want but anyway it was a proprietor of our community a guy that used to work at the store music guys I know people had mixed feelings about music guys but it was cool to have another music shop to go to because I considered them better than Owens at least with what they carried they carried they were able to supply with uh, some of the better prices in town and some of the better gear like I, I think that they may be the guy was really nice right now and I talked to him and I never remember him even being that nice before but he was really cool right now because I think in the music in the st business of music stores 
like I've gone to guitar centers and, and I know guitar centers have killed a lot of the guitar centers and the internet have killed local music store business but the way that people go into sto- music stores and just jam out for hours and don't buy anything and that, that's got to be irritating that doesn't happen in other other realms like you don't own a kitchenware store and people come in and cook on all your shit and then just leave it or clothing it's like having a clothing store and everyone goes in and tries on everything but then they don't buy anything it's like Sephora they go and try on all the makeup and don't buy anything music stores and what's harder about that is you got to hear people play that shit so everybody's trying to go in there and be like the next Kirk Hammett or like they're like, oh, I'm going to jam out and like maybe they don't want to hear that all the time like so I can understand why the dude from Music Guys may have had people in this town wear thin on them especially in a town where there's not much to thrive on where people where because there's not as much competition people don't have to worry about coming in being nice to you because they're gonna haggle with you and see what they get out of it I bought a lot from Music Guys and when they went under I was like aww and they had one in, they, I think they became Jensen's, and then after that they were gone, but it was cool to talk to him about that, and it it touches on another topic of mine that I've beat to death with Rudy at World 1-1 Games and George with with sketchy picks that I work with, that when, when local business isn't supported, then local business can't re-put the money into into the town and I know it costs a little bit more but if you're paying more to live in a town and you're not getting anything out of it some of it might not be just because there's not enough money being put into rent and and the rent's damn expensive anyway but I see why people I I see both sides because I shop on the internet as much as I shop locally because there's times when you do want to get bargained for your buck and I don't blame anybody because it is damn expensive to to survive but also when you don't when you lose that personal touch that personal touch gets lost in a it's a domino dominoes effect haha so like you look at San Luis Obispo San Luis Obispo has thrived because people have been able to support all those local businesses they support back into it they keep the money in their city Santa Maria doesn't have that going on so we've seen the result of it and I'll stop at that because I've beat it up before. But it was really cool to see Dude from Music Guys. Um, I don't know if he wants me name dropping him or not. But if you remember Music Guys, really, they were cool. Like, looking back, you can't be like, oh, they were dicks. Like, they, they were a player in the community. They did their part. I, I, I have a podcast part coming up right now that I want to talk exclusively on a topic that coming up isn't going to be on this episode it's going to be its own little section that I'm going to post separately so click the link to that coming up because the next segment isn't going to be on here but I'm going to be going off after on this next delivery I'm going to need at least a 10 minute delivery so I can go off on my next topic yeah hint let's do this in chill especially in the postseason Oh, that dude was doing something pretty cool about a minute ago. I couldn't get my camera on in time. Tic Tac smile. <laughs> Tic Tac smile. <laughs> Pizza Guy Adventures, episode 55. October 17th, drawing to a close. A mouthful of Tic Tac, so I'm off. Tic Tacs. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I didn't get a chance to do my podcast portion, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with Shalane, and I'm gonna do it with Shalane. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Haha. <laughs> She'll think that's funny. She'll be like. <sighs> but anyway, I'm gonna do the podcast with her because it's a topic that probably would be better with her. And. Because I just don't want to do it by myself. Even though doing it by yourself can be a handy. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's enough of those. Like, I don't want to sit and talk at myself. And the topic that I'm going to do will be funner to have. And, you know what? I might have multiple podcasts on the topic. Because it's something that pertains to everybody. 
and uh, once we do ours and I post it tonight then everybody can get in on doing the same topic with me and we can do like multiple sessions on talking about it nothing crazy it's something fun something entertainment it's an entertainment uh, topic so thank you guys for tuning in I'm about to cash out and then go home play some Xbox and just Xbox and chill it's another hint to my topic oh I'm so elusive thank you guys anyway until next time Keep it easy, my pacos, deuces, and trays.